Brendan Rodgers may have returned at the beginning of the season for his second stint at Celtic but did he return in the form of the Grim Reaper because he's already killed off Celtic's treble hopes he's already killed off the exciting play that they had under Ange Postacoglu and according to Chris Sutton he's killing Kyogo welcome back guys to Fog Football Chris Sutton Always controversial. I've never heard them come out and refer to anybody as killing someone in Scottish football. But that is what he's done today in his article with the Daily Record. He has accused Brendan Rodgers of killing Kyogo and killing Kyogo's influence at Celtic this season. Now, as we know, Kyogo hasn't exactly played that well this season he's not banging in the goals that we expect him to score however Chris Sutton doesn't think that's his fault he thinks it's down to Celtic and he thinks it's down to Chris Sutton he says that the failure of the environment is the reason to blame for Kyogo's less than impactful season he says that it's down to Rodgers and his inability to get the best out of the highest quality striker in the country and he says the fact that Kyogo isn't at his best could lead to Celtic's slow death of their title bid. So that's everything that Chris Sutton has got to say about Brendan Rodgers. Not exactly the nicest thing, but has he got a point? I think he does, because Kyogo this season under Rodgers has been starved. A lot of the times he's playing up front and he's just completely out the game. He's not getting chances, he's not involved, he's dropping deep. It's, at times he's looking like a midfield player. This is not the Kyogo that we saw under Ange. It's not the Kyogo that always poses a threat to teams and can score at any moment. Now, Kyogo, is he normally the most involved player? No. Does he get the most touches? No. But he was always available. He was always a strength. He was always an attacking threat under Ange Postacoglu. But under Rodgers, at times, you feel like Kyogo could play up front for three hours and not score. He never felt like that under Ange Postacoglu. Under Ange, Kyogo was always a threat. He always felt like he could score at any moment. But this season, that simply has not been the case. But that's what Sutton had to say regarding Kyogo and uh, Chris Sutton basically killing him this season in his daily record column Sutton said the following quote Kyogo Furuhashi is having his influence absolutely killed there's a real chance it may lead to the slow death of Celtic's title bid Brendan Rodgers has been outspoken about needing quality yet he can't find a way to get the best out of the highest quality striker in the country now he's been left out of the side if that continues could it lead to him inevitably looking to leave. Kyogo has gone from being the most feared forward in Scotland to barely getting a chance in a game. It's actually quite remarkable. And for me, it's not got that much to do with the boy himself. End of quote. So, Chris Sutton here defending Kyogo. I've got to agree with Chris Sutton. I don't think it's Kyogo's fault. I think it's down to the style of play. I think it's down to Brendan Rodgers. Kyogo has been the best striker in the league for the past two seasons. I don't think that is deniable for me he is the overall best quality striker in the league is he the best finisher best goal scorer maybe not I think you can definitely argue that could be Shankland that could be Miofsky but in terms of over round and overall in terms of full quality then for me Kyogo is untouchable he is the best quality attacking player that is in the league but he doesn't look like that under Brendan Rodgers and then Chris Sutton went on to talk about the new signing Adam Edea and the fact that he's got two goals and that he could be the number one going forward but at the end of the day those two goals were penalties I've seen nothing from this guy to suggest that he is half as good as Kyogo is and Sutton came out and said that he believes that Kyogo remains a superior striker at Parkhead and Sutton followed quote now listen before I go any further there this is no slight on Adam Edea the Irish striker was given an opportunity against Hibs and he grabbed it with his two goals idea might do well for Celtic but don't tell me he's a better striker than Kyogo Furahashi end of quote and I agree with Chris Sutton I don't think playing Adam Adia is the option I don't think that is the solution here Brendan Rodgers the solution for him needs to be getting the best out of Kyogo he needs to get Kyogo back on form he needs to get Kyogo scoring the goals because if Adam Adia is leading the line if he's leading the charge for Celtic in this title fight I think they will lose it 100% I don't see this guy being the one to drive Celtic to another title this season I think Celtic need to get Kyogo playing back to his best if they've got a chance of retaining and it looks like Chris Sutton 
thinks that as well. So yeah, for me, Rodgers, I mean, Kyogo's not the only player that isn't playing as good under Rodgers. I mean, there's multiple players, Greg Taylor, Alistair Johnston, I think you could even argue Cal McGregor, I don't think he's been that good this season. Uh, Hatate can't really get a game. Abada and Maeda haven't really done much either, but I think Kyogo is probably the biggest one that is underperforming under Brendan Rodgers. So yeah, I agree with Chris Sutton. He needs to get this fixed. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, and at this point, I mean, could we see Kyogo leave Celtic at the end of the season? I think if it continues going on this way, if he is being on the bench and playing second fiddle to Adam Adia, then I don't see why Kyogo would stay at Celtic beyond this year. I know he signed a four-year deal, but yeah, for me, I just don't really see him sticking around under Brendan Brendan Rodgers, the way things are going right now. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let us know your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Big Fog Football. Peace.